going on YouTube? It's Bangar from PRAquatics.com. Coming to you guys today, revisiting this uh, no tech tub I did and uh, successes and failures with it. So we'll start off with problem number one. Um, problem number one with this is there's only two cinder blocks elevating this tub off the ground. Um, so when I would siphon the water out, uh, it would be a really weak siphon. And, um, you know, I wasn't able to clean the bottom of the tub really well. Um, so water quality wasn't as good as it could have been. Um, so that's thing number one. Um, so next year what I'm going to do is I'm going to plan on raising this up a little higher. And then also I'm going to, um, uh, well, I'm not necessarily going to, but somebody had the suggestion from PR Aquatics uh, Forum. Uh, they had the suggestion to use a power head hooked up to some plastic tubing and then siphon out the water with the power head. And I was like, oh, that's a really good idea. And um, so that's one option you could do to make water changes easier. You could even do that in your own tanks. I mean, it doesn't have to be this outdoor tub. You could do it anywhere. And uh, so that's thing number one um, that I would change is I was, I'm planning to raise this up. Um, and then thing number two um, that I would change is I'm going to do no substrate next year. If you look, you can see that there's a bunch of sand and there's a bunch of like crap. You know, who cares about the leaves? You know, that's that's great. But all that dark stuff, um, that's dirt because I do dirt at the bottom and then sand on top. And I actually had to move this tub um, into my garage in a wheelbarrow with fish and everything because um, it was pretty chilly and I wanted to use a heater um, just to protect my fish while I was gone for a couple days. And that stirred up the water really bad. Um, I had a plant filled with... Um, Filled with uh, this Brightwell Aquatic strub substrate that like tipped over and that got everywhere. And so, you know, the water quality kind of suffered in this tank. And that's going to be the thing that I, I suggest the most. Um, if you're going to do a no-tech tank, do it. Or no-tech tub, do it um, in a way that you can have really good water quality. Or, or at least perform, you know, obviously the way you improve water quality is with water changes. So do water changes like... I don't know, every five to seven days, um, religiously, like don't miss it. If you have time, do more. Um, just because you're, you're putting your fish a little bit at risk, you know, um, it should be fine if you don't heavily stock it and don't throw like a bunch of food in there, but you know, so anyways, what I'm going to do next year, um, since I'm not going to do a substrate, I'm going to do potted plants and that's going to be awesome because it'll kind of be like a, you know, a little uh, playground for the fish uh, swimming around the plot, pots, hiding the plants, you know, that kind of stuff. So, um, again, my name's uh, Bangar on PRAquatics.com. If you guys liked the video, hit subscribe, hit like, and uh, keep doing fish tank things, people. And do a no-tech tub, um, but just make sure you can keep good water quality in it. And... Uh, yeah, I hope everybody's doing good. Uh, leave me a comment um, if you have any questions. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.